We are at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, a smashing Philip Fiani Gold Cup win for the Phyllis She's My Destiny for champion trainer Jason Da Costa at Jamaica's Caymanis Park, where last year's double classic winner Blue Vinyl had no challengers in the Mark My Word Trophy. Stakes wins for Caribbean Jocks up north, Barbadian Rashawn Latchman at Charlestown in West Virginia, USA, and TNT's brand Booram Singh at Hastings Racecourse in Vancouver, Canada. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our first stop came out of Spark in Jamaica. A long weekend with a triple of race days culminating in Monday's National Heroes Day holiday card featuring the renamed Gold Cup, now the Philip Fiani Gold Cup, honoring the 14-time champion trainer and Hall of Famer. Not a big field, but big names in here, including the defending champion, number three, Mahogany, with Robert Halladine fresh from Thistledown in the USA aboard. Number two, the brilliant Phyllis She's My Destiny on a three-race winning streak. And number five, the surprise derby winner in August, Ability, coming off a near two-and-a-half-month layoff. Fairly competitive betting, number one perfect brew, winner last time out at 9 to 2. She's my destiny, the 6 to 5 favorite, Mahogany, the marginal 2 to 1 second favorite, the four horse, I've got magic and ability, both at 10 to 1. Number six, I am Fred with four wins already this year at 2 to 1. Here's Bran Rickman's race call. Down the back stretch, they go in the Gold Cup. They make their way now toward the half mile. Rojorn the pilot will get there first. Shadowed by Mahogany. I've got Magic racing out three wide. She's my destiny now. Asked to go by the rider. I am Fred is still in the chance, needing to find four and a half lengths. Ability now makes some progress. And the late running perfect brew at the back of the field. They've blasted past the three in the Gold Cup. They're coming toward the final 516th. And Mahogany, the big horse, now picks up that lead and is asked to sprint away from them. It is Mahogany coming into the lane. Mahogany pushed out a quarter of a mile to run in the Gold Cup. And Mahogany is in charge with 316th to run. Can they catch Mahogany? You'll have to falter badly as Mahogany comes to the furlong pole with a clear lead. She's my destiny running on from behind. Mahogany driven to the back. She's my destiny. The filly beginning to close up. Mahogany under pressure. She's my destiny charging forward under Ramon the pair. They're meters from the wire. She's my destiny beats Mahogany. What a finish by by She's My Destiny, 106 pounds on her back, including apprentice Ramon Napier, Colors the defending champion and big weight Mahogany, who allowed the Phyllis 17 pounds. Four consecutive wins now for She's My Destiny, uncharacteristically coming from behind on the Napier's smart ride, an emotional Everton Rose of owners SNA Stables, having lost his mother just days before the race and celebrating his birthday on Saturday gave the story of visiting She's My Destiny at her stable, asking the filly to deliver a win in memory of his mom, and the filly, he says, nodded at his request. She's My Destiny by a length and a half over Mahogany, whose rider Robert Halladine is denied a third Gold Cup win, having scored with Perfect Neighbor in 2015 and will in charge three years later. Dab winner Ability closed well for third after a bad start and being lost down the backstretch. The winning time for the 7 furlong run, 1 minute 25 seconds even, no Gold Cup win since Will in Charges 123 and 1 fifth in 2018 has been faster. A first Gold Cup triumph this for champion trainer Jason Da Costa who concedes he was worried that his speed filly was not leading and in control down the back stretch. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, um, as it's something completely out of character for her and um, she's never come from off the pace from behind horses so I was definitely worried. I tap her lane, I was pretty much riding for second. <laughs> She's on top of her game right now and she overcame a lot. She had traffic problems and well, for her to really run on a horse of Mahogany's caliber, you know, about six lengths at the top of the lane, you know, it's really, really impressive. Really solid work by Da Costa, the leading trainer who had two starters in Saturday's Mark My Word trophy feature, run in memory of Jamaica's 2010 Triple Crown winner and horse of the year. Da Costa's entries though, outbidder and miniature man, no match, for last year's 2000 Guinness and St. Leisure winner, Blue Vinyl. As they're coming into the top of the lane and it is Blue Vinyl in complete control under a hand ride. The rider having a peep in his mirrors and Blue Vinyl has a clear lead. The head cornerstone, best of the rest. Miniature Man has made some progress after the poor beginning. Outbidder races up next, but it is all up in front. Blue Vinyl leaves the furlong pole and leaves the entire field for dead. It is Blue Vinyl opening up double digits with every stride and Blue Vinyl will win the Mark My Word trophy in complete control. 
Javanil Patterson, just a passenger aboard the M&M Racing Stables Blue Vinyl. The four-year-old Cole splendid again in his third outing for new trainer Alfred Brown, coming from the Patrick Lynch Stables. Eight wins now in 21 lifetime starts for Blue Vinyl. The winning margin, a crazy 21 and a half lengths as the 1 to 5 favorite clocking 154 and 2 fifths for the 9 furlong and 25 yard run for the second weekend in a row. Ian Prasad is breeder of a trophy race winner. Blue vinyl here and perfect brew in the previous weekend's I'm Satisfied Trophy. A staple on our weekly at the track show is the tracking of Caribbean horsemen making a mark at overseas race tracks. One of those, West Virginia based Rashawn Latchman. The Barbadian rider now with close to 400 wins in the USA. Latchman's latest stakes triumph coming in Saturday's Breeders' Classic for two-year-old fillies at Charlestown aboard the impressive front-running 1-5 to five favorite, Direct the Cat, who took control early in the $75,000 six-and-a-half furlong sprint. Direct the Cat spurts away, 46 and 2, and Direct the Cat is pouring it on into the far turn. She's in front here by eight lengths with less than three sixteenths to go. As ran out of trainer has now rallied up into second, Navy Band is third, but up top, it's all Direct the Cat, and she simply breathes different air than the rest of this crop. It is all Direct the Cat, and she truly is a West Virginia bred superstar. She romps home. Latchman had partner Direct the Cat to win last month's Rachel's turn stakes and is unchallenged here in another added money success. The 32-year-old, a consistent top 10 rider annually at Charlestown, said post-race the filly has so much natural speed and talent. Direct the cat by 12 and a quarter lengths for owner trainer Cynthia Mackey. The winning time for six and a half furlongs won 19.28 on a wet track for Latchman who won three races in the past week and is currently third in the Charlestown 2023 Jockeys Championship standings with 69 wins and a lifetime tally of victories in the USA at 379. Now Canada is where Caribbean jocks have been most prolific in recent decades. Among the latest riders fruitful in the land of the Maple Leaf is multiple Trinidad and Tobago champion Brian Boudram Singh. His first season this in Canada, based mostly at Hastings Racecourse in Vancouver. Here is Boudram Singh in Saturday's $75,000 Glen Todd Fantasy Stakes, running the rail in third spot aboard the two-horse Brook Magic. Not among the best fans in the field at 6-1, to one, but best in the home stretch. As they turn for home, Viva La Diva trying to go all the way, and down the lane they come. Viva La Diva! Now moving up on the inside, Brooke Magic, Lizzie's Rain, and Acoustic Melody. Here's Brooke Magic and Brian Boudram saying, Brooke Magic will win it. A champion jockey eight times at TNT Santa Rosa Park, including four years in a row from 2019 to 2022. And Boudram Singh with this win boosts his tally of victories in Canada to 21, including three in stakes races. Brooke Magic at 6 to 1 odds lands the Glen Todd Fantasy Stakes for trainer Mel Snow by 2 and 3 quarter lengths on the Bootram Singh, topping the 2 to 1 favorite Liz's Reign and clocking a winning time for 8 and a half furlongs of 145.76. Finally, let's wrap the Ford Erie season in Ontario, Canada, where the Barbadian Chris Husbands completed a hat-trick of jockey's titles this week. Adding to Ford Erie crowns he won in 2021 and 22, Husband finished the 2023 campaign as a winner with a double on Tuesday's final day of the racing year. Here steering the three-year-old gelding beyond talented to a comfortable three-length win in the maiden special weight seventh race for the second of his two wins. The fifth jockey's title this in Canadian racing for Husbands. At his three consecutive Ford Erie titles to two Assiniboia Downs championship wins he had secured in 2014 and 2016. This the eighth time in the last 10 years a Caribbean rider is Ford Erie champion. Barbadian Juan Crawford the 2020 jockey's leader and Jamaican Kirk Johnson with four titles in the past decade. With 40 wins in the five-month season, Chin's Husbands is the clear champion by nine over Melanie Pinto. Also topping the Fort Erie Jockeys money table with horses earnings of just under 470,000 Canadian dollars. Another Caribbean jockey in the top five, Johnson, with 25 wins in third. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show 49 victories. Among them the former TNT jockey Rodney Sudin with his first win as a trainer at Florida's Gulfstream Park where the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. had three weekend victories. Three wins too for the Jamaican jockey Javor Simpson at Fanduel at Fairmont in Illinois 
and there were two wins for the Barbadian jockey Enrico Prescott at Century Downs where the Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson also won and remains the leading rider. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.